hello and welcome Taurus you are the big deal this eclipse is happening on your sign so I waited I waited just to get closer and closer to the eclipse energies so welcome ascended stars is Ali Jade here and I hope this video finds you all doing well thank you kindly for watching my videos and for any additional information about reaching out connecting getting a reading uh, we can do that at the show box down below I'm reachable at ascendstars at gmail.com that's the best way but uh, I do have social media okay let's get into it my loves so let's see what the 411 is right now with the Taurus Collective let's see what they need to know or what's coming out or we'll do a Celtic spread on that and then I have the energies here that I've already pulled two preliminary energies to let me know more about uh, you guys and the Taurus Eclipse you guys are, are the big headliners because the North Node is moving into your sign and this is the first energetic shift that's going to give us a, a big foreshadowing now I did want to tell you that this eclipse in um, in the, the physical meaning like the, the planetary set, uh, meaning and stuff it means to cut and eclipses already mean to cut things out but this one is like also extra like an extra cut <laughs> an extra like an extra deep knife it's not a little knife it's a big cooking knife it's really gonna cut the, cut something out okay so um, it's important it's important to figure out what's what's going on these days okay let's see what we got the bottom of the deck so something is ending something is ending here a cycle is coming to an end it's a heavy burden um, very emotional It'll probably be very emotional okay so there's communication about something that you want something that you foresee in the future but this is becoming a burden some kind of burden oh interesting okay um, the daily got this too so there's money coming in or you're making really good money there's in, there's information about your money coming in oh, about working together okay so right now maybe you're doing really well working together with others collaborating maybe there is uh, news about collaborating maybe a bank wants to do something maybe like they want you to be a sponsor for something maybe you represent you represent companies really well and you're able to market and and um, make money for them so you could be an entrepreneur of this type of sort you might have to travel now in the future wow that is so cool the ace of wands oh okay all right well this tells me right away that somebody has um overdone it here they they've gotten themselves in a situation where maybe they might have impregnated somebody and they're getting the news we're going to be a family we should get married the fam you know um but there's also like maybe like the time is now get going start moving do the things that you have to do it's just it doesn't seem like it, it would be the right time but and you're you're quite in your emotions oh yeah there's a lot of water in your energy here so there's like there's there's so much emotion that's stopping you from doing things that you might end up regretting or you've already done things because you're such in such an emotional state and you might be making choices unconsciously from your emotion from your reactiveness because of your wounds I didn't mean to get this deep this is not what I intended okay that's the spread one and that's somebody's story but I really didn't want to use these, this deck. It's more of a clarifying deck. I wanted to use the Crystal Visions deck more 
of uh, a feminine energy here. Taurus is a feminine energy ruled by Venus. And um, okay, Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Somebody doesn't want this offer. Somebody doesn't want an offer. Mm. It's from a devil energy. Wow. Okay, so somebody does not want an offer from somebody who has used them, who, who just is lusting after them, and uh, they're very materialistic. They might have some bad vices. This person might be very attractive. Yeah, and they're in their player energy, king of wands energy. Oh, gosh. Okay. So this is on the outside. This is what's happening on the outside right now. Okay. Um... I don't know. I'm getting like some of you are married and you're kind of like uh, playing the field even though you're married or committed or something and, and it's, get, it's gotten out of control. Like there's a lot of desire now and so now you can't, it's like out of control. It's like I feel like this yearning, this wanting, this lust is, is out of control. Okay, that's what I feel. But it's like you know that you're not supposed to be doing this. Like you know that it's not healthy. Like you know that you love your husband or wife and that you're still in, in kind of some weird shenanigans. This is just, I don't know what to tell you. That's what I'm picking up. Two of wands. Yeah. And so you have to make a choice because like you're stuck in a place, a, a rock and a hard spot. Like you are committed. You got to, you know, you got a family, you got kids, and then you got something that is very tempting right in front of your, it's called nariz, which is nose. Yeah, right in front of your nose, you got something that's like, hey, don't you want to come and get some? <laughs> it's crazy. All right, let's um, continue the story. Ace of Cups, a new emotion. So you're being guided to go into this new emotion and, and, and explore. Why do you desire this when you have everything? Okay, it's kind of the feeling I get. Yeah, you're going to have to have the strength to realize, okay, you know, it took you a long time to get where you are. You can just lose it in a second, in a heartbeat, in a day. There's a fine line between love and pain. There's a fine line between life and death. This is a childhood wound that you're not acknowledging, okay, that you're not looking at, that you're not paying attention to, that you're not... Um, yeah, you do not want to be... look. You don't want... You're like, oh, feelings, feelings, oh, feelings, I could just... Come on, stop being so emotional. Like, you are one of these uh, people who does not really, um, you compartmentize your emotions. You, you play them down. You push them down. Scorpio will not be pushed down, okay? Mars is in Scorpio. Mars is fire, passion, drive, and it will not be ignored. <laughs> no, it won't. Ace of Wands. No, it won't. It's like... Hello. Yeah, this is, this is, it's like strong, strong passion, emotion, drive, um, lust. It's stronger than you are. It can take control of you. It can grab you in a minute. It can be like you're driving and then you're like, fuck it, I'll do it. Let me text this person. Let's hook up. It's insidious. It's insidious, sexual, deviant energy. Page of Pentacles. The curiosity is killing you. Five of Pentacles. But you know you'll be left out. You know that you, this is not a winning game, okay? If you're a wife, you know that you're going to lose a lot. And you and your kid are going to be struggling. If you're a husband, uh, your wife's going to take you for everything. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Not the energy that I wanted to be channeling for Taurus. I do expect to get better. Let's see. Okay, so you are really in conflict with your emotions. And your mind typically would do it. And you would be like getting away with type of this type of behavior. Or, or you could, you know... I don't know. The energies are too dense to get away with this. And it's like you, you, your higher self knows that. 
but you're very intrigued you're very driven you're there's a magnetic pull and you you can't think your way out of it because the drive your body really wants it your body yearns for it you're you can already you know the bible says in the ten commandments do not covet thy neighbor's wife so it, it says like you know just in in imagining yourself with someone you already have already done it you already crossed paths here of like so death scorpio energy okay this will bring you nothing good but the thing is is maybe you haven't been wanting to see that a connection is already dead and that you don't want what your partner or your ex has to give okay and so you've been hanging on clinging on the chariot yeah allow it okay so if you do not gain, gain control of your emotions if you do not see why yours this desire this this need this passion is so prevalent having to deal with your childhood having to deal with your childhood having to deal with some kind of emptiness some kind of void um with sex is not going to help king of wands it's a very handsome very attractive this could be happening to my king of wands energy um Lo uh, Lo leo lorries aries leo <laughs> maybe you're with the lorry aries leo or sagittarius <laughs> that's crazy that i said that okay the emperor man there's a lot of fire here okay so somebody has i feel like a happy home a happy family or they've constructed a lot and they've had a lot of happy memories but it's dead they don't really feel it anymore and um they want they can't move in another level with this person like emotionally they like they have all the physical things but um there's a wound that this person still can't heal and that you, maybe you have to step away out of the relationship and heal it yourself and go back to the connection but either way it's like it's it's like you have to heal and you have you need isolation time and you need to do that on your own but this is not going to happen because you're in a connection so it could be that you disconnect to connect again in another different way but um what i do see here is that this if you decide to go through with this other energy here like you know you decide to cheat or you decide to step out or you decide to go with somebody that you already have something with somebody else but you don't really explain that you're going with somebody else it is not going to be good for you okay what whatever you have worked with in a connection maybe it could be even family this i even feel like it steps into family and cultural stuff meaning like maybe you're of indian culture and you're like no i don't want an arranged marriage you know and 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 you step and you'll lose everything like you that you just won't get the inheritance or you won't get the you know there's a lot at stake here and you know it and I want to tell you something that you have worked hard for where you're at right now. You you intentionally went that direction to be where you are and have the gains that you have. There's such a potential here of losing it, it's being out in the dark. I feel like this energy is for all three realms, okay? All three realms. These are all different types of energies here. Like, um, okay, whatever. All right, let's go into this. Now, let's see. Let's see here what we have. Um renewal okay so you have to really maybe you want to go back to school maybe you want to get more educated maybe you want um there's this energy of conquering like maybe you want to conquer something like maybe you want something more there's something lacking okay the first card that came was, um, this is a major arcana. Now this is the herbal, the herb crafters deck, the herb crafters deck, herb crafters tarot, I mean. And um, the sunflower came out, which I just, I've been resonating with sunflower so much. And it's the magician, okay? So this means like to manifest something, to make something happen. The sunflower, let me get my glasses. Hold on, what did I do with them? okay so what this says is hold on 
Unleash your magic, radiate power and potency from one seed a thousand. So from so yeah, oh gosh, okay, that's interesting. From one seed a thousand. A vibrant okay, so the power of manifestation lives within you. All the information necessary to create life is contained in the seed, yet it is the element that makes the sunflower grow. Wind strengthens the stalk. Water feeds the plant. Fire is converted to energy by the leaves. Earth anchors the root. Nourish your ideas with the elements and watch them bloom into being. Receive divine light from the unseen realms. Shape it into form. Then give it all away. Sunflower roots travel for miles underground, bringing nutrients to the flower. When it matures, the flower head head bends to the earth and unleashes thousands of seeds be a conduit of transformation for others okay so this is it this you already have okay this could be like restless energy that you have so much to give you have so much love so much energy so much vibrance so much vitality that you have to channel it into teaching okay and then we have this um crossroads of destiny so you could be going down, you could be challenged, like you could be mistaking this, this raw, raw, organic zest and fire uh, sexually. And, and that's maybe what you've done in the past. But I feel like you're being guided. No, channel it into teaching others. Like you have Uranus and Taurus, which means about, you know, Uranus is the Hierophant and spiritual and Venus valuing and making things happen and knowing your value and so if you combine those two you're teaching young people how to value themselves and getting their gifts there you go so you you've already transcended for some of you and you're ready to go up the next level but you're you're just uh what you might call it okay um, let's just continue let's continue all right Okay, so what's stopping you from doing that is that you feel guilty. You feel like maybe you, you cheated your way there or something like, you know, you, um, I don't know. I feel like a lot of this, like you cheated your way there or you did something that you feel guilty about, that you're not proud about, that you don't want to. There's so much compensation here. Like you've over effing stepped over it. Like you're like, you you went over and above, okay, which is fine. But at the same time, you still feel left out. You're like, I did the extra credit work for that A. So, you know, so then the, the uh, you know, like when you're in the acad academics and they say, well, we're going to um, grade it. We're going to round it off. Like, you know, whoever got the highest score. So somebody got 96. Okay, so you got like 98, right? And then the, the after 98, you were the highest one or you got 99, okay? And, and then the highest one was 96. So what's the average in between 99 and 96? I don't know. It comes to like, let's say 98.5, whatever. But it's like, what I'm saying is, um, you're the best at what you do, but you, but you set the standards. Okay. That's what I'm saying. You set the standards and you're very good at what you do, but you're still not happy with that. You're still like, it's like, you're not validated. You don't validate yourself. It's like, you're waiting for, for your partner to validate. Oh my God, you're waiting for your partner to validate you. Damn, stop that. That is very bad. You're just going to end up losing. And then you feel guilty because maybe you've overpassed your partner. Maybe you've, you've overcome, maybe maybe you're bored with your partner. Maybe you need to teach your partner. Maybe you've been the, the student and now you've become the teacher. But you've been, you're, you're playing it small. I just feel like you're playing it small. Okay, whatever. Okay, so the devil here. Oh, there's an addiction here. Okay, that is that is this lust. Okay, so that's that's this. So either you or your partner are lusting after something or someone. Could be a Leo. Could be a fire energy. Two. Okay. Could be Aries. Three. Five. Okay. So there is there there seems to be some kind of um 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 chasing of fire people <laughs> people who are very ambitious who know what they want and like you can spot them a mile away and so maybe that's kind of the energy i'm getting here see 
from world to world okay so maybe you are itching to travel and you haven't been able to travel and you're like oh i don't like this i'm, I'm kind of bored here i need to i need more excitement i need more zest i need more vitality you know it's like i'm getting sagittarius energy i need to learn more and experience more so maybe there's this because you've been so bored you're like maybe you did step out okay this 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 devil card does represent stepping out so maybe you did step out somebody did step out and someone feels left out it's going to take a lot of strength and courage to rebuild this emotion with your partner because you feel like a lot of it is dead here and you don't want to be with them even though your partner could be very sorry and very um much in their masculine energy where they're not really sensitive to you and the venusian part in you really hurts you know that the the feminine like you know somebody stepped out or you stepped out and i feel like a feminine stepped out and they have their partner doesn't know and they feel guilty and it, they're still very attracted to this person okay it's another energy coming in and they're very attracted to this person and they but they know that they're going to lose a lot if they continue so there's this time of like okay i gotta let this thing go um and control my emotions and really think of the big picture here and what's good for everyone my family my home or whoever you're containing here that's under your domain complacency oh yeah exactly so you're exactly you've been complacent for you've been complete you've been complacent for quite a long time and you have not um decided to move forward in the things that you want your passions your dreams it's like there's something else you want to do but you're playing it small okay eight of earth let me um let me read what the devil means here uh for you guys and see what what it says the book says because it's always an interesting different take on it so the devil which is represented by blackberry sweet berries sharp brambles beware let awareness awaken the power of choice break free of the desires that keep you trapped knowing what keeps you bound can set you free you may be feeling trapped by something you love it feels good yet you are depleted Blackberries are delicious, but the vines strangle everything in their path. Do not become ensnarled by the sweet fruit of pleasure while ignoring your true needs. In Sleeping Beauty, Bramble creeps over the land, protecting the people while they slumber. Blackberry can be a safe but destructive hedge. Consider what desires you are indulging. Are they keeping you from seeing the light? Be your own prince and cut them away. Wake up and choose transformation okay so that you're be the scorpio season which is your polarity is asking you tra to transform because you like you like your um good good life you like your luxuries you like your material goods so it's not like you're lacking many of you're not lacking in anything but there is something that you're bored with you have to transform and now it's become too toxic like um, it's too much too much. I hear heat hedonism hedonism. Yeah, okay Then we have the eight of earth. So Let me read you the eight of earth and that's going to be turmeric and Turmeric says let your task be an embodied prayer do the work teach what you know again This is really interesting. dedication leads to mastery Is your commitment strong enough? Put in the time to hone your skills. The longer fabric soaks in the dye, dye bath, the more vibrant and lasting the color. Hard work may sometimes take its toll. It can feel isolating and frustrating. Do it anyway. Turmeric stabilizes the body, increasing vitality and strength. Remember to care for yourself at the root. If you are struggling with diminished self-worth, teach your craft to others look for ways to engage the community in your projects turmeric medi medicine survives because it has been passed down through generations 
trust the value of keeping time on the traditions. I absolutely love turmeric. I have a, I was addicted to a turmeric salad, a carrot salad for like a year. I mean, I just, I don't know. I couldn't get enough carrots. It was crazy. Um, I'm done with that. <laughs> it's like my Scorpio self was done with that. But it was like a, a turmeric, it's a turmeric lemon with cayenne pepper um, mix and almond. They had some of it at Trader Joe's and almond milk or almond paste. Oh my God, it was so good. And then I would just, I would shred the carrots and then I would pour it, pour it on top and then I would sprinkle Parmesan cheese on it. I was, this was like my go-to everything. I was turning orange. I ate it so much, but, um, <laughs> that's a side note. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get back into your reading. So the next one is seven of arts eucalyptus. Okay. So this is the last one I'll read to you and tell you what it means. So let me get to that page and I'll, I'll tell you what it means. So it means eucalyptus, eucalyptus, seven of arts. In this deck, it means trust in, in, trust in reason. Do not be swayed by popular opinion. Respond with integrity. Information is key to understanding. Okay, so this section here has to do with the eclipse. Okay, let me just tell you. The, what I'm reading about is having to do with the eclipse in your sign, Taurus. So it says, information is key to understanding. Trust in reason, discern fact from feeling. When your assumptions are challenged, learn more before taking further action. Essential oils may provide quick relief, but are a resource and intensive medicine. Hundreds of pounds of plants material are needed to make one ounce of oil. As botanicals desirable for their essential oils, such as eucalyptus, are planted, Native species are pushed out, devastating local ecosystems. Eucalyptus teaches us that what comes easily usually comes with a hidden cost. Oh, ho, ho. that's exactly what's up. Right here, the devil. You got the devil card twice. You got it here. Oh, my God. Okay. Dang, 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 dang. Ding, 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 ding. This is the message, Taurus. What comes easily comes at a price. If that's not a definition of the devil card, I don't know what is. I want to continue reading, but I want to show you as I read. Okay, so that's so crazy. Eucalyptus teaches us that what comes easily usually comes with a hidden cost. It is often said that the greatest enemy of learning is not ignorance, but the illusion of knowledge. Distill information to the essence of clarity. Act ethically whether or not anyone knows. Just eucalyptus clears the lungs. You will breathe easy once again. Truth will give you direction. Oh my God. You have to see the devil is tempting you during this season because you're the higher font energy and they want to bring you down. They want to make sure that Taurus doesn't reach the high echelons the highest the highest realms and you're so close to reaching the highest realms having everything so this is about you conquering your guilt okay you dealing with why you feel guilty and that and doing the work okay and opening yourself up to that you haven't been wanting to do that okay her eyes are closed and she has not been wanting to deal with her emotions she hasn't wanting she hasn't been wanting to dive deep scorpio energy which is the lotus energy here of, of the lotuses right there so she hasn't been wanting to dive deep into her own waters and tackle maybe father issues father abandonment um father wounds masculine wounds okay so we have sacred revolution yeah so this is really interesting because the other one is untamed there's an untamed energy that was subdued but now that scorpio season is here it's not subdued anymore it's come out with a fear with a force with a fierce force okay and it's something that you are it's very tempting and it's coming towards you and you can't just dismiss it or you can't just brush it off okay and it will affect an emperor that means an aries or sagittarius or leo or um yeah, so you have to, you have, and it's because you have been playing it small. You have been complaining for way too long. So they're telling you to step out into this energy and get exposed, get noticed. You have an empire to run. You will have people that are under you. 
and you do have people that are under you but you know the emperor is a fair leader don't lead by force or by fear you have to be fair to the people who are under you okay and that's you're maybe you're taking advantage of somebody who's very attractive who works for you um you're using maybe you somebody's using their power in the wrong place in the wrong way and you have to be strong enough because it is not in ex exercising your power that's strong it's in restraining your power that's strong and so you have to um maybe this has been happening or this has happened and that there's guilt here okay so you are being tempted and the devil's here to tempt you and either it's because it's your karma and it's your time to fall for it and you do because you never healed it and you're going to be going through a really long 29.5 cycle again okay or just the two years that our taurus is going to be in the north node and scorpio in the south node okay um you cannot suppress this with scorpio in the south node it is like Niagara Falls underneath still waters <laughs> you cannot deny it you cannot suppress it the guilt just pops up like jack-in-the-box so the last card is acceptance here we go you have to accept that you have made the choices you are where you are you're worthy of everything and that you can teach others um, you have your spirit guides helping you but there is some guilt yeah there is some guilt here that maybe why is this guilt here? Three of Pentacles. Maybe you don't have what it takes to, to work with others or you've just been solo and you've done it your own, but it's time. Spirit's saying no, you need to you need to be with others. You need to share your gifts. You need to collaborate. It's time. I don't know why you would feel like the hermit. Yeah, right now you don't see it coming. You don't feel like you have the skill set. Virgo's very, you know, it's, 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 this is the Virgo energy. You're in a hermit wit place where you're like, you don't see it. You don't see that you have what it takes to do all oh, the lovers. You have to make the choice to love yourself, to act from your highest good. Maybe you don't feel supported by the person that really does love you. Seven of Swords. Oh my God. Like, you are really considering th leaving this person because you're wounded, you're hurt, and the guilt just feels so bad. Wow. I, th I think that you can heal this. I feel like, okay. Eight of Wands. Yeah, a message is coming that you just don't want this. These cards are so similar, and I do apologize. I thought they were the same card. Page of Cups is... A very young tempting person very young tempting person so your partner might have gone off with somebody much much younger and um, that really hurt your ego that really hurt you know the Venusian part of you of like am I not do you don't value me am I not pretty enough if, if am I not thin enough am I not uh, enough there's an enough energy a, a deficient energy here this you could have had an Emperor or a King of Wands energy just take off on you sexually queen of cups <sighs> queen of cups you're coming in as the queen of cups loving caring giving psychic being able to do the work and very creative again the, the uh, this pisces energy is being retrograded in neptune so there's a huge amount of creativity that you need to express because um it will bring you even joy love it will be able to release whatever's going on within you let's get the herbal deck here more on this queen of cups please manifestation yeah you're ready to manifest you have something you have a creative project that's ready to come out grounding you're not grounded enough okay you need to ground yourself you're just very emotional the cup energy is very emotional you had the king and queen of cups and in this emotion is taking you to your dark side there your scorpio dark side these are repressed emotions and they're coming out when you don't feel good and you feel like you want attention and then you will maybe head on to snapchat or um uh, you know whatever whatever ig you do and 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 get attention and somebody might be get caught or might get recorded i am also picking that up dang okay so let's see what else what else do we need to tell taurus 
Okay, so eliminate. So you have a deep-seated anger inside of you, okay? So the anger um, might cause nervous tension. You can replace it by just being, okay? That's the Piscean energy of just being. You have to just learn to have solitude and be and accept because you are the winner here. You have everything, you know, you have everything at your disposal, but there is a pain in you that hasn't been resolved that you're still deeply angry about. So it assists, so the Moscovite, which is called Mika as well, it assists in looking joyfully to the future at all levels and back to the past to appreciate all the lessons that have been learned. It, so it, this 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 uh, Mika or Muscovite helps timelines kind of come into one where you're going into the past timeline where you felt less than and you feel the guilt and you're bringing that guilt into this timeline where it doesn't need to be. The, this, this is all irrelevant, but you're still holding on to it. So it allows you to heal you, heal yourself. So um, you don't see yourself the way others see you. You feel like you have to put on a mask or you have to put on a ton of makeup everywhere you go. You have to sleep with the makeup, wake up with the makeup. Like you just feel like you have to be somebody that you don't have to be because you're a beautiful person from the inside out, but you're not allowing yourself to be there. You're not accepting yourself, okay? So it aids in changing the image by supporting you through painful feelings. Okay, so this has to do with that you lack support. Like you, you were your own support. You didn't get support when you were a kid. And... Um, It's like, yeah, uh, I hear Smokey Robinson. I see. I hear Smokey Robinson. Um, that song, you know, that song. Oh my God, I, I can I can hear it. But anyway, I can hear Smokey Robinson singing that song um, where a clown, you know, is laughing. Tears, tears of a clown. Is that what it is? Tears of a clown. Yeah. So there's like a deep sadness. Like you pretend to be happy, but you're really not. And and this is not good. Okay, I'm not happy with this. Let's give you some, uh, no, I already did this. Which is the one I want to do? I want to get another one. Let's get another one of the manifestation, uh, herbal deck here. Heart healing. Okay. So you're cutting out, you're cut. Okay. So it seems like you're getting to know what the real issue is and you're healing it. You have heart healing. But it's like you're, you know, it's like you've been holding this for a long time and it's time for you to get renewed on this energy, okay? And this has been like lifetime after lifetime. You have felt this guilt. You have felt this energy of like not being worthy enough, like like an imposter syndrome is what I get. Like, yeah, um, a beautiful, I have a beautiful wife, a beautiful kid, beautiful family, beautiful, but it just doesn't feel like it's like, it's still, is this really it? Like it, it, there's got to be more. And then you're falling back into like maybe teenage years where you were just hungry and looking for things and wanting more, more, more and experimenting It's very Capricorn in energy. You were very lusty. You were very l lusty and flirty and but you don't need to be like that anymore. You don't need to uh, experience all of that anymore. But there's so much guilt here that you, you, you're like hurting because it never truly. You never really talked about it. You never let the feeling express itself. You pushed it down, and now you can't push it down. So there, there could be an argument here. But this person loves you, and they see the true you. And this could be a connection where you have a, a blow up, but then you have to, you know, build it up. Like the pieces break, but then you you can pick up the pieces and start with something fresh and new and, and say goodbye to the old. All right, I got to let you go. Um, I'm going to pull a mythical wisdom for you guys. And wishing you the best. Vacation. <laughs> take time for relaxation and adventure. So it's time for you to take a vacation to relax, to enjoy life, um, go out with the family, maybe your intuition, look at that, your intuition is on point, Uranus on Taurus, so you know what you have to do, but uh, it's it's hard because you're, you're having like haunting feelings of your past, yeah, you, you have somebody here that loves you, provider of healing for mind, body, and spirit. You're coming maybe into contact with somebody who's really going to get it. Maybe some of you do have to break free because maybe it is the end. And this has already been done. 
you know, so that the, this is going to come out. I mean, with the devil card twice, this something has been done. And it's in the 3D section, both of them. Like something has already, like I said, it could be just a thought, but maybe it was just pictures of wanting to go there and, and it just blows up. Letting go, letting go, letting go of your unworthiness, letting go of your guilt, letting go of uh, the things that didn't work out, of the could have, should have, would have's. And you'll be fine. You'll be fine, um, Taurus. Two more. Self-reliance. Wow. Okay, yeah. For many of my Taurus females, goddesses, then this is a goodbye. And you have to uh, really get back into place where you have self-reliance. And that's not going to be easy because you might have kids, you know. Oh, God. All right. So sensuality. Sensuality. Okay, and stay in your sensuality. You have a lot of sensuality right now coming to you. And in that sensuality, um, there'll be like p very, a lot of people are going to be attracted to you. So, you you know, it might be hard to get back on that dating horse or just, um, yeah. Okay, you're very attractive. You have a lot going for you. You can teach others. You're healing your broken heart. For some of you, you're breaking up with somebody, but you're going into your own self-reliance. For others, you're healing and you're trying to come to, to the truth because you feel guilty. And then uh, I feel like somebody was with a younger person here or with somebody very attractive and they feel guilty now when they're with their partner um, or vice versa. The partner feels guilty with their Taurus. Okay. Um, thank you. Take care. Give me a thumbs up if you like or not. Um, emoji. And have a great day. Have a great month. Uh, great eclipse. And we'll connect soon. Bye-bye.